What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles back at you with another week, another video. This episode is gonna be really special because we're gonna talk about why the reptile breeding industry is going to stay strong in 2023 and into the future. Per the usual, before we dive into the video, let's take a quick look at this guy. This is a Peruvian boa constrictor, Pacalpa Peru. He is one of my original Peruvian males and just an awesome animal. Just beautiful dark color saddles, dark background, and has this awesome red tail that you would expect from Peruvian boas. So getting into the actual video topics, that is why the reptile market in the reptile industry is going to stay strong despite all this sky is falling talk that's out there. Yes, there's 50,000 ball pythons in morph market and things are slowing down, but that is a factor of the economy. And the economy itself is the reason why the market is going to stay strong. Because now, more than ever in what we've probably lived through, do we need a side hustle. You can no longer work your nine to five or work your normal job and continue to afford what is happening right now. So why reptiles? Why is the reptile market where people are going to turn? One, it's fun and it's something that we are passionate about. When people start getting laid off and, and things are just not looking good for the economy, we retreat, we retreat to what makes us happy. Animals are typically one of those high factors that make us happy. And for us reptile folks, people who enjoy these reptiles, whether they be boas, pythons, whatever it is, we're gonna retreat to those. So those sales of goods, it's gonna go up and our vacations are gonna decrease because we don't have the money to go on a vacation, but we sure do have some extra cash to buy an animal that's gonna make us happy, that we can enjoy 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the comfort of our own home. That's why reptiles are gonna to continue to flourish. On top of all of this, why reptiles? It's fun, so what? There's a lot of things that are fun. Well, with a very low or a relatively low startup cost, you can have a potentially extremely lucrative business or at least a hobby that you enjoy, gives you the peace of mind in the comfort of your own home and something that you really can just support itself. So whether you wanna make this a business or a hobby, this is something that can support itself, can pay for itself, can give you some extra cash in the process if done right. Breeding reptiles can be very lucrative if you do it correctly. That is the whole reason why I started my Patreon page is if you're looking for that support, I have a Patreon and we talk about how you should start. We talk about care, whatever you want to talk about. I don't want to bring up the Patreon, but that is why a lot of people are joining my Patreon page. So we'll move past the Patreon, but this is why the market is gonna stay strong because it's fun, you can do it in your own home, low startup cost, it gives you enjoyment just by keeping. All of that is why things are gonna to continue to sell. So yes, we are seeing this downtick and this downward trend in the market. People don't have as much money as they used to have, but they still buy things, correct? I doubt that anybody watching this out there today or the large majority of people out there today are still thinking about what are they gonna buy next? Is it the new sneakers? Is it the new watch? Is it the new jacket that you've been looking at? What is it that you're gonna buy next? As the economy continues to do this downward trend, yeah, we're being a little bit more conservative with our cash, but we still need to live. We still need to be happy. And that's why, you know, reptiles, they bring that joy into our lives and more so we're looking for that side hustle. So pulling all of that together, that's gonna to bring a perfect storm of people who are gonna say, hey, there's a business here. Hey, there's some enjoyment here. Another reason is it can be done with the whole family. This is something that you can have in your house, whether you have kids, you have parents, whatever it is, you can get everybody involved. It for, again, go to your reptile shows. You can enjoy just walking around, talking to different people. It's a community and it's a family-based community for the most part. There's people out there that don't like kids, that aren't family oriented, whatever. The majority of us, do this as a family. I did this with my father, I'm gonna do this with my son, and it's a generational business that really, if you wanted to start this, now my father wasn't into the business, but I convinced him, let's go to shows. And it was a time where we got to kind of bond and reflect on things. Same with my mother, you know, I kept these things in my mother's house, and it was just this kind of, Un unspoken bonding experience that we had, memories we created, just going to shows, just going to the pet store, going to pick up some feeders and things like that. They're memories that you generate and you create. So beyond the business factor, these are memories and these are family-oriented businesses that you can continue to pass on from one generation to the next. 
So all of that combined, I really feel leads to the perfect storm of why this industry and why this market is gonna continue to go in an upward trend. We have so many cool animals out there. And yes, there's people in it for the wrong reasons. But with that fact, there's a lot of people in it for the right reasons. Let's take another look at this boa. I mean, how awesome is this, is this snake? It's an amazing animal. Now, if I had my nephews here, if my son was old enough, he'd be holding this animal. My nephews, my nieces, they'd be holding this animal. And it would just be a good bonding experience. Take photos, they'll remember this, they'll show it off to their kids at school or their friends at school. And it's just a fun experience for everybody. So. Again, with all that said, that is why the reptile industry is going to stay strong. People need to stop freaking out. It's going to continue on its path. It will always continue on this upward path. Unless some crazy regulation gets passed, we're going to continue to enjoy these animals. And even then, I think people will resist. If some crazy regulation gets passed, we have we have organizations like US ARC, and, and actually it's really just US ARC, which is a reason why you should support them. Uh, but we have organizations like US ARC who is gonna fight for us. We have ab advocates within our hobby who are gonna continue to support these animals, and it's just something we need to do. So that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this put your mind at ease and maybe gave you some business ideas. If you're interested in learning more, check out my Patreon, check out my website, Instagram, YouTube, all the links are in the description below. And I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and giving that like button.